Hi, my name is Terry Lewis. Today I'll be going over the biomechanical movements of how to shoot a free throw. I will be going over the bad technique versus the good technique. Stay tuned. A free throw is a type of basketball shot where flexion at the hip and knee go hand in hand with flexion at the elbow and shoulder to create perfect trajectory for the basketball to go into the hoop. Sometimes it may be a failure of a shot, but the technique is really what we're looking for in this. Shortly, I will begin a clip that will show you the wrong technique to shoot a free throw. And here we go. And also, this will be shot in slow-mo to get down to the detail of how a free throw should be shot. With this shot, you could see that my form was completely off. My legs were kept straight. Also, there was no bending at my arms at all. It was just a straight throw to the hoop. This caused the ball to just go in a straight motion with no trajectory at all. In this attempt, I will be showing you the preferred way to shoot a free throw in order for efficiency in your shot. We're going to take a look at how this is different from the first attempt. I paused here to show you the different form that I use for this attempt of a free throw. Now, if you look at my legs, they are bent at the knees. Now, usually when you bend, there's a resistance, it's kind of like a band, which forces you to bounce back up. This is normal. This is what's going to give my shot that extra boost to get up to the hoop. Also, you want to look at my arms. My arms are also bent as well, giving the ball that arch that it's going to need to get to the hoop as well. Now, if you look at the placement, everything is lined up perfectly for me to just let go as I push through, even with the follow through, to get a good shot. In this picture, I'll be showing you a diagram of the figure in the projection form of shooting the free throw. This is the ideal form that you will want to be in when you are performing this technique. Let's take a look. First, we'll be looking at the top portion of this figure. Now, while shooting the free throw, you will notice the red lines that are displaying the elbow extensor along with the wrist and shoulder flexors. If you look at the angle of the elbow, this is giving a great range of motion which will allow the ball to have that great trajectory like I spoke on earlier. When you look at the shoulder flexion and the wrist flexion, this is showing also multiple ways to give more range of motion when shooting the shot so it won't be such a straight angle. Now, let's get into the bottom half of this figure. Now, looking into the bottom half, we're going to be paying attention to the hip and ankle extensors along with the knee flexion. Now, like I spoke upon earlier, when you bend down by the knees, this gives a natural reaction through the body to have a bounce back up. It's kind of like a spring or a rubber band, for example. Once you start pulling it, when you let go, its natural reaction is to go back into its natural state. As we go back to the video, I wanted to show you guys another important part of the technique when shooting a free throw. Now, you see me loading up my shot. Now watch as I raise myself up to shoot. Look at my feet here. I raise my heels up all in one motion as I'm releasing the ball. Now, while my knees are bent, I'm collecting potential energy in order to gain power for the ball when I release it. This is another very important piece of the puzzle when you're shooting a free throw. Okay, now that I've shown you the proper technique of how to shoot a free throw, here's some clips of me actually making my free throws. Thank you. 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 Thank you.